Hello, boys and girls. Pinchas the Pirate. I'm back again, as promised, to talk to you about the holiday that is coming up of Purim. That's right. And to talk a little bit about the holiday of Purim and the four Stop. major mitzvos that we have to do on the holiday. Now, when the holiday starts at nighttime next week, Wednesday night after the Fast of Esther, which we'll talk about in a minute, we start off Purim by reading the Megillah. And Pinchas the Pirate has his special Megillah and bag all ready to go. Now, the Megillah is actually almost just like a Sefer Torah. It is written on parchment, and a special scribe has to write it, because not everyone knows how to write a Megillah. And in the Megillah, the person reading will go through all ten chapters and te that tells a story of what happened on Purim. I'll try and make it a little bit brief. Purim, start, Purim party starts off... Ha, see, I'm already drinking like it's Purim and I said Purim party. The Megillah starts off by talking about King Ahasuerus. <laughs> and Ahasuerus had a huge party. And then he called for his wife to come, Vashti, because he wanted to show her off to everyone, and Vashti refused. So, Ahasuerus had her killed. And then the Megillah goes on in the second in the second chapter that now Ahasuerus doesn't have a queen and he gets lonely. So his advisors tell him, why don't you have a contest and call all the young ladies in the country to come to the palace and you will pick a wife. And we skip a little bit ahead. Ahasuerus picks a nice Jewish girl by the name of Hadassah, also known as Esther. That's right, Megillas Esther. This whole story revolves around Esther. And the queen, the, she becomes the queen because Ahasuerus likes her. And after she becomes queen, her uncle, Mordechai, the righteous man in this story, overhears a plot by two palace guards that they want to kill Ahasuerus. And he goes and he makes, he tells Esther, Esther tells it over in his name, and they find out that it's true, Ahasuerus' life is saved, and Mordechai gets written down in the king's special book that he was the one who saved the king. Then, all of a sudden, Ahasuerus goes and hires a new advisor, the evil man, Haman. Boo! That's right, when the person reading the Megillah says the name of Haman, we make noise, because he was a bad man. And Haman wanted everyone to bow down to him, but Mordechai would not, because Mordechai does not bow down to a human being. He only served Hashem. And Haman got furious, and he wanted to destroy and kill all the Jewish people in the land. He made a lottery. In Hebrew, it's called Pur, a lottery. Get it? Purim. That's what we celebrate. And the lot fell down, and Haman had picked the day of the month, and the month of which he was going to have a decree signed by the king to wipe out all the Jewish people. Now, Mordechai finds out about this and he goes and he sends a message to Esther. You need to go to the king and have him wipe out this decree. But Esther said, I can't go. I haven't been called to the king's courtyard and I can't go if I'm not, call if I'm not called upon. And Mordechai says, this is the turning point of the Megillah. Maybe this is the whole reason why you became queen to be able to go to Ahasuerus and save the Jewish people. And Esther asks everyone to daven and fast for three days. Get it? Tainus Esther, the fast of Esther. And then she goes to the king. The king, of course, welcomes her in. And what does Esther request? Ahasuerus says, I will give you everything up to half of my kingdom. And Esther says, all I want is for you, King Ahasuerus and Haman, to come to a feast that I am going to make. And... Of course, Haman is so happy because only he and the king were invited. And at that second feast, she says, If you really love me and you want to do me a favor, I'm going to be making another feast tomorrow and I want you to come. Now, Haman is furious at everything going on about Mordechai. And his family tells him, I have an idea. Why don't you make a big gallow, a place to hang someone in your backyard, to hang Mordechai, and tomorrow you go tell the king. Now that night, Ahasuerus couldn't sleep. He was having a hard time, bad dreams maybe. And his advisor started reading to him from their special book of things that had happened. And it came upon the story that Mordechai saved his life. And when Ahasuerus said what was his reward, they said, 
Mordechai did not receive a reward yet. So he decided, he asked Haman, what should we do? Haman, thinking they were talking about him, said, Oh, he should have the king's horse and the king's robes, and he should be paraded through the streets. And then Ahasuerus goes and says, Excellent, Haman. I want you to do that to Mordechai. And he does it. Not very happy about it. And then he's even more mad at Mordechai. Now the next day comes, and that uh, second meal comes, and Morde Ahasuerus and Haman come, and again Ahasuerus says to Esther, what can I do for you? And she says, you can help get rid of the evil man that's trying to kill all the Jewish people. And Ahasuerus is shocked. Who are you talking about? And Esther says, this evil man, Haman. He's I am a Jew, and he wants to kill me and all of my people. And... Ahasuerus decides that that very same gallow that he built for Mordechai to hang on is where Haman should be hung. And then the Megillah goes on, and the end of the Megillah says that Mordechai and Esther wrote down this entire story in an Egeris, in a letter like a Megillah, and that's why every year on Purim, at nighttime and in the morning, we read the whole story from the Megillah. And it's very important that you hear every word. So that means the little kids... Little boys and girls have to be super quiet and not make noise. Except when we say the name of the evil man, Haman. Boo! Otherwise, everyone's quiet because everyone needs to hear every word. That is one of the first of the four special mitzvahs for Purim. And I will be back to talk about the other three. Whew, I feel like I just read the whole Megillah. Wow! Exhausting! So for now... I'm going to go take a nap. It's Pinchas the Pirate yeah. and First Mate Dobie, who's been practicing very hard to read the Megillah. We're all going to say, Shavua Tov and... Excellent.